Hi everyone, it's Becca or Wild Rabbit Woman, however you know me from, either from Tumblr or Facebook. I have been absent <laughs> for like two weeks now, um, haven't done a video. We were dealing with all the fallout from our dog passing away and just a lot of other stuff I really won't go into. Um, but I thought I'd make a video because I had a really awesome turnout of um, dyeing some bones for jewelry um, so I wanted to share that with you guys also um, let you know how the rabbit skins are doing they're doing great we've already done our second salting and then I think we're gonna try and smoke them this weekend so they're nice and soft and preserved so they're not gonna be um, like decomposing basically later on down the road um, because they're really stiff right now from the salting. So what I did for <clears throat> my jewelry is I did a natural dye bath with um, tea and some different flowers, like dried flower parts that um, I got. I thought they were going <laughs> to turn out a little more red, but I'm actually really happy with the color that they did turn out. Um, I don't know how well you can see them. They almost look like charcoal right now, like um, graphite sticks, but this is how some of them turned out. I've got a few pieces. If you're on the, um, the vlogging artist page, you'll see my picture down below posted. Um, that will show you what exactly they looked like before I put them in the dye bath, so you can see how saturated they can get with just regular um, natural dyes. I just put them in the jar with water and a lot of tea and um, flowers and all of that to get them a different color, just testing out different options and these turned out really awesome. Um, <clears throat> I also did a skull which ended up not going as dark but I'm pretty happy about that um, you, can see, <laughs> you can see it against my um, hand it's not as dark as the other pieces the teeth will always stay white uh, I think it's something to do with the enamel it won't seep in the other is a little bit more softer porous so I think it looks really really cool um, <clears throat> I did a couple jaw pieces too these didn't turn out as dark either um, one turned out really light this one looks like a, a grayish brown color um, same with this one and but these two turned out darker. Oh, my computer. <laughs> so these turn out darker. And these did too. Maybe you can see the skull a little bit better. They almost look like the skull reminds me of something mummified. The um, leg bones that are darker, they look um, burnt almost, but they're not. The integrity is still there for them, and they'll end up being <clears throat> pendant and earring pieces here shortly. I'll probably be drilling them on Friday night and uh, um, doing wire and findings and beads on them. So maybe Saturday night you'll be able to see the, um, the finished result of it, and hopefully it turns out really well. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing, just playing around with um, dye baths and different means of getting different textures on the bones instead of just having them pretty stark white. And yep, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I will see you soon. Bye.